Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica van Zunnert and in today's video, I'll be creating my very own shoe poster design. After being bombarded and seeing a lot of uh, them on Pinterest, I decided why not create my own shoe poster design. And in this episode or in this video, we're going to be creating the poster for the Nike Air Force One. Okay, um, test, 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 test that microphone, test, test, test. Oh my god, I actually think my microphone... I think my, bat my microphone battery is low. Ha, this is not the time, my friend. I have to record. So, hello everyone, how are you guys doing? My name is Oda and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be designing our very own shoe post design, as I said before, and the first step in creating this design is, of course, choosing the shoe we are going to be designing. And it's gonna be the one I have the most desired shoe of mine that I really want to get as soon as possible is the Nike Air Force One. It's a classic shoe that you see almost every fashion person wearing or at least it's one of the shoes that you can see a lot and it's the most to go shoe. But why I haven't gotten this shoe yet is because I'm currently saving for a PC. More information in another video but I'm currently saving for my own PC and I'm going to be doing some other projects. So. My budget is not there to buy a new shoe yet, but I'm very sure that I'll get it very, very soon. I need to stop doing this. I'm sorry. The second step that we're going to be doing is looking for some inspiration. After seeing quite a lot of shoe poster designs, I already have like a small board with them with like a gathered place with all of the designs. But it's always good to go into Pinterest and always find your own inspiration as this will help you to guide the design process and to guide what you would like to include into your poster design. When gathering inspiration for my mood board, I try to search for colors, illustrations, patterns, imagery, and typography, which I would love to include in this design poster design or in this current design that we're creating. As a designer, I would like to inspire you to start using mood boards when designing as it is an absolute game changer and will help you whenever you don't have inspiration or whenever you're feeling stuck when designing. Okay, so after searching for inspiration, I have gathered like one, two, three, four, six, nine, yeah, it's nine. Nine images of things that I would love to include into my poster design and different elements that I would like to choose. And why I decided to go for this certain style is because I wanted to go with the like old school Nike Air Force vibe, but to have like a modern flavor with it and try to make it my own style. Of course, try out a different design style and also to like, I got a message. Reset. Anyways, this, this, yeah, I have the mood board here with me, but like the design style I'm going to be going for is like the classic old Nike vibe with some modern flavor. And in order to do this, I'll be adding like uh, graphic and design elements, like this small icons that you can see on poster design sometimes, like a little star sign, a little box or a square. You'll see when I start designing, and uh, I want to add like some vibrant colors to them that you could change with different colors. Anyways, you'll see more once I start designing, you understand what I mean. I'm very excited to get started with this as this has been a project I've been literally waiting to do a lot. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Let's get into the video and start designing as I'm very excited to get started. Okay, so now that we have all the mood boards and have made the mood board design, we know which shoe we're going to be designing. It's now time to start gathering all the assets I will need for designing. Basically, this just means that I will be gathering like the Im images and everything that I need. So like the Nike Air Force One, PNG, uh, the graphic design elements that I want to include into my design, the overlays and the images. I like doing this ahead of time to like gather all the inspiration. If not, when you're designing, you'll constantly be going back and forth within Google to look for whatever you need. So I find it always easy to like gather all the assets that I need and that I want to like that I would like to include into my design and just have and design as you go instead of designing looking for something designing than looking for something it's just way easier to just have everything in one go completely set and ready to be used t is life if you are not following me on tiktok yet make sure you follow me there i'm currently doing the june how do i call it? oh yeah the tiktok june swift challenge i didn't really have a better name but i'm basically now this whole month of june i'm posting every single day from monday to friday a new tiktok video so if you're interested in daily life videos anime content graphic design videos make sure you check it out and support me there as i'm currently with the goal of trying to be as much as consistent on social media and create things that i really like and have fun in creating content as i'm doing with this video first night air force one in the examples that I've seen, I would love to like have this funny 
like a funny shoe pun something funny just something like that so first of all I'm going to be including the background color for this design and as I said before it's gonna be like the classic Nike Air Force or the Nike vibe I don't know yeah yeah basically that so I'm gonna add like this kind of background and then I also already gathered like the shoe design so this is like the mock-up and I'm just gonna be playing around and trying to add different elements so I yeah I can much better like concentrate and design when I'm just silent and trying to design <laughs> but anyways I'm just trying to include do I need to color correct this no not really what I can do is like add a shadow beneath the shoe because that's more that makes sense this just draw a straight line filter blur, motion blur Perfect, and then like this, this a little bit, this, and then use the opacity, and then here we have a shadow of the shoe. So I'm just gonna put this in one box. Nike Air Force One. Yes, perfect. Move this, and this text. I'm gonna put it in the middle. Just start designing bold text okay let's get into designing the shoe poster design as you can see i'm currently designing the shoe poster design for the nike air force one and i'm currently like a lot of things and a lot of design style that i came in my head with but i decided to change later along the way instead of me using the bold typography i decided to change back to like a smaller typography and change the way the design looks like so enjoy this b-roll footage and i hope you guys will enjoy and stay till the end to see the end result i hope that makes sense <laughs> So I just finished designing the poster for the Nike uh, Air Force One and I can tell you that I changed the way I want to design actually like I was going for the like retro feeling and a little bit like the what I showed on my mood board but I changed and decided to go with like a black and white combo or is it really white it's more like a grayish color and then with black and then add like a just a drop of so the drop just like a little bit of color to the design and I'm happy with how it is actually I really like it it's very nice and it's not really what I usually design if I'm looking at this now but it's like a more modern feel so what I'm gonna do now is add some overlays on the uh, markup or on the design and see how it can give it that 90s old vibe uh, poster design Okay, so I just finished the design and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. It's like the new modern uh, vibe that I'm going for and I really like how it turned out. Um, basically, I decided to go first, as you saw before, I would do like a big bold text of the Nike Air Force and keep to the retro feeling, but continue designing, I thought, mm, I didn't really like the way it turned out. So I changed it and come out with this design. I present to you my very own Nike Air Force One poster design. 
I really enjoyed working on the shoe poster design and I'll definitely be creating more. If you would like to see more shoe poster design videos, make sure you let me know in the comments. I'll be very happy to create them. And that's all for today. So I'm basically going to be freestyling this voiceover as I feel like this is the best way to be transparent. I recently started my own business, design business, Studio Heart Designs, and I'm going to be very honest with you. I've been doing a lot of work. Uh, as you can see in my previous Design Diaries video, I was feeling quite overwhelmed and I'm trying to balance my work, life and school lifestyle a lot more. I feel like I can be very obsessed with work or like pressure myself to finish a lot of work in a certain time, which is very bad and I don't need to put that pressure on myself. Well anyways, I want to get, give you guys like a quick update of my business and what steps I'm taking to gain more exposure as a business, as currently I have recently rounded up one client and I'm currently going to be working on another client soon. Um, I'm going to be very honest with you guys, in my whole career when being a graphic designer I didn't really have clients, I had like one or two people trying to do some uh, design things but it's not like it comes flowing constantly so I decided to start taking serious steps in gaining more exposure as a business so this means um, basically what I did is opening my own Instagram account Studio Heart Designs make sure you follow me there and I also recently uh, started posting like my personal my personal Facebook account some graphic design work as that may help to gain more exposure I'm even thinking about creating creating flower uh, flyers which I can send around in my neighborhood and gain some more exposure as a business as I'm quite new and no one really knows that I exist it's very important for me to start reaching out to people and uh, trying out different things to gain more exposure hence why I'm trying to create more quality content and better design videos um, yeah and currently I'm also in my final almost am I going to my final year of graphic design so basically this last last period is gonna be quite busy as I'm having my exams I'm having uh, finalizing my projects as next week is gonna be my exam week or probably this week as I'm uploading this video and I'm currently like I need to balance work with uh, school so I'm trying to do my best to take care of myself not get stressed not get overwhelmed like I felt before and just make sure everything is balanced as that's a quite important thing to master as you are your own business and you work from home you can kind of pressure yourself to feel very overwhelmed and not finish the stuff but um, yeah I'm trying to get better at that um, I recently rounded up one of my clients and uh, I'm quite happy and grateful for the design community I've built over there on Instagram as it helped me to find my first client and uh, yeah basically what projects am I working on uh, at the moment I'm working on chatty which is a chatbot or a chat program I'm also working to different design things that I'm working on so many and in this coming weeks they'll be uploading on my Instagram account and also make sure you follow me on TikTok as I said before I'm currently doing the TikTok Swift challenge which is the whole month of June I'll be posting every single day from Monday to Friday new TikToks so make sure you follow me follow me there if you're interested in day in the life content anyways enough talking about me let's get back to the video and uh, thank you guys for always supporting me and thank you guys for 300 subscribers I'm truly grateful for you guys Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this new video. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to friends. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Monica von Zundert with a little dash behind on Instagram, at Monica von Zundert on TikTok, and basically that's all the platforms I'm currently available or active on. Also, make sure you check out my design studio account, Studio Heart Designs. As you can see, I recently started my own graphic design business, and there I'm just going to be posting like more graphic design work and business-wise stuff. So if you're interested in that, make sure you follow me there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Whoa.